Praise be to God, Father Clay Hunt here, the cowboy priest. I want to tell you we love you a lot. We're reporting to you from the wilderness. And I want to tell you that we stand with Mr. Jason Aldean as the cancel culture has turned its ire towards him for that song that he wrote, Try This, Try That in, in a Small Town. And what he was referring to is all the be bad behaviors of so many people like Antifa, BLM, that's Black Lives Matter, and all the, the mindless behaviors that are being permitted in the world. And he never said anything about hanging anybody, but those are absolutely hanging offenses. Our forefathers, to that behavior, every single one of them would have been hanged. Because that's not acceptable behavior. And it's true, we never look for trouble. But when trouble comes knocking on the door, it's going to find trouble. And that's that's what he was, uh, he was lamenting. All these unbelievable behaviors that are happening in our cities. And he rightly said, try that in a small town because the people in small towns, if you want to call it the heart of America, uh, don't put up with that foolishness. And people in small towns uh, look out for each other and take care of their own. And they make sure that law and order are kept because that's the only way that uh, the peace can be achieved. That people have the freedom to live and that's our country. And these things of riots and, uh, you know, unchecked destruction, those things are absolutely unacceptable, absolutely foreign to the American way of life, absolutely foreign to our constitution. So we're going to talk about that song of Jason Aldean, but first I wanted to preface it by the words of the Lord from a couple of days ago in the Holy Mass, the Sacred Liturgy. It was from his, uh, the account of his words from the Gospel of St. Matthew. Chapter 11, and he said, it says, Then he began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done. Since they had not repented, he said, Woe to you, Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty deeds done in you in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have long ago repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the nether world. For if the mighty deeds had been done in your midst that had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. And the reason he is speaking in this way is because as he himself uttered from his own mouth to the one to whom much has been given, much will be required. And we have been given so much, the fullness of the truth of the gospel and the fullness of freedom in the Constitution of the United States of America and the history of freedom that we have experienced. And we are responsible to God for that. We are responsible to maintain and to uphold the gift that has been given to us. We will be accountable to God for that. And that's why he said, you who squander that gift, you who pay no heed 
and take it for granted. You will be more accountable than Tyre and Sidon and Sodom on the day of judgment. <coughs> and we know, we know what happened to the Sodomites when the Lord raised that city to the dirt. It's the only time in the history of <coughs> the world that the Lord destroyed a city like that, raining fire from heaven. And that's why we have to be sharp to these things and to understand we are accountable. And our livelihood depends on how we govern these things for our life present and for eternal life. <coughs> and that's why we got to stand up and put the house into order. So we're going to look at the lyrics from that song by that man, Jason Aldean. It says in this way, sucker, somebody, sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light, pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. You think you're cool. You think it's cool. Well, act like a fool if you like. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough. We'll try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. <laughs> and that's absolutely true. Because people don't put up with nonsense like that. And it's absolutely... <clears throat> it's reprehensible. The injustices that we've allowed to consume our cities. There are cesspools. Worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Worse than Tyre and Sidon. And as a caveat, I was talking to a good friend of mine who's a holy priest. And he reminded me, as both of us had made, have made our pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Obviously, as recounted from the scriptures, Sodom exists no more. It was absolutely destroyed. But the same you can say is to those towns that the Lord mentioned in the Holy Gospel. Bethsaida, Capernaum, those cities around the Sea of Galilee are nothing but ruins in our day for their failure to accept and to maintain what was given to them, the gospel. And that same truth can be said of us. And in fact, we are on the verge to lose our country. And that's why I encourage people in the city because there are many good people. It's time for you to reclaim your cities and to put an end to that foolishness. And sometimes we have to stand up and do it on our own. That's the foundation of our country. Our founding fathers stood up and did it on their own. Because this is our country, our land. It doesn't belong to that joker, Joe Biden, or that joker, Ron Nuremberg, that they correctly refer to as Ron Naziberg. That guy's a jack wagon implementing and facilitating and desiring for the same thing to come to our city of San Antonio that happened in these modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, Chicago, Kenosha, all those San Francisco, all those ridiculous cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And so Jason Aldean is right because that's the spirit of, the, of America. And that's, that's what a man's heart should be. That's what a woman's heart should be. That's the spirit of Judas Maccabeus, John the Baptist, David the King, Elijah the prophet, Elisha the prophet, Jeremiah the prophet. It is the same spirit of 
George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and all those that we recently celebrated on July the 4th, our Independence Day, who laid down their life and their possessions and sacrificed everything to give us the city on the hill, the shining city on the hill, the United States of America, which has long been in decline for our complacency, our lack of solicitude to hold wicked persons and wicked ideologies accountable and to put them down by whatever means necessary because their desire is precisely our destruction or as many of these wicked persons have said and had made efforts to fundamentally change the United States of America and we ain't gonna let that happen don't tread on this come and take it those are the mottos that I hope that you can rise up to understand that you have the right to as freeborn American citizens and as sons and daughters of the father firstly and foremostly you have the right to stand for what is good and true and to defend your family and your property and your homeland So Jason Aldine continues, around here we take care of our own. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. And I recommend you don't. I recommend you don't try to find out. Try that in a small town. And it's true that we have to pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and on the grassroots level to put the house in order because it is not a top-down uh, kind of thing. The way the Catholic Church has always operated and the way of good governance, for example, the Constitution of the United States of America and the Declaration of Independence, these things operate on what's called the principle of subsidiarity it means from the grassroots up and we elect officials in our country and by the way your number one priority or objective should be to put into order the election system because as it is they stole the 2020 election they tried in 2016 and they have for long been about manipulation of the voting system and you need to put that in order one paper ballot one vote hand count no dominion voting machines we don't allow machines to have dominion over us because otherwise they're going to continue to push you into slavery and the oppressions there's no way Joe Biden was elected. That was a rigged and stolen election. And we need to put the house in order. And by any means and all means necessary to do that. Jason Aldean says, I got a gun that my grandfather gave me. They say one day they're going to round them up. Meaning take away our guns. Well, shoot. That might fly in the city. Good luck. Try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. And that's absolutely true. They've tried to condition you and they continue to try to condition you. The guns are a bad thing. That's ridiculous. One of the greatest, the only thing really I can tell you that, that has preserved our freedom even from its beginning is the right to bear arms. And which is enshrined in, in the Second Amendment. And that is the only difference between the United States of America and Russia or Italy or Venezuela or Mexico. We see the tremendous injustices right here in our face across the border in Mexico. 
And that's because the, I'm telling you the strictest gun laws in the world are in Mexico. You tell me what good that does for people. Absolutely nothing. Or that cesspool of city, Chicago, in every way imaginable, the leadership of Chicago is wicked. In every way imaginable. And that's why there's so much death, so much destruction, so much injustice. Do we cling to our Bibles and our guns? Hell yeah. And you try to, you try it in a small town. See how far you get down the road. I've shared with you before and I will again. When those cartels were dominating the people in Mexico as they still are. But when it was at its height of injustice, they would roll up into a small town there. And even though you have strong men on this side of the border, my people, small town, Texas, Southwest Texas, those, those thugs would roll up into a little town in Mexico and take the possessions of the people, abuse the women. And even though those men are the same substance of men is on this side they couldn't do anything about it because they don't have the freedom to have arms to defend themselves whereas here that's our constitutional right and that's why i tell them you try that in small town texas you try for the cartels to roll up with their uh automatic weapons and whatever they wouldn't make it out of town, not a single one of them, because it's true. Go ahead and try that in a small town. The people who have every right to do so will stand up and defend what is theirs. He said, around here, we take care of our own. Cross the line and you won't take long. It won't take long for you to find out. And I recommend you don't try that in a small town full of good old boys and that's right that's a that's an honor to be titled a good old boy full of good old boys raised up right if you're looking for a fight try that in a small town see how far you make it down the road <laughs> praise be to god because we love god and even though sometimes we get a little wild we love our family and we love freedom. Try that in a small town. Around here, we take care of our own. You cross that line and you won't make it far. It won't take long for you to find out and I recommend that you don't try that in a small town. God bless Jason Aldean. And I encourage you, I never listened to CMT, but those jack wagons canceled him off there screw cmt i hope you never listen to cmt again they can take their music awards and go over there and even though we love country music you listen to it in different ways whatever the pandora you know spotify whatever you need to do but boycott cmt if they want to turn on their own, let the consequences of wokeness come to them. And that governor down in Florida, I love the way he always says, Florida is the place woke comes to die. And I hope that by this and by this and by this, wokeness finds itself with nowhere to run to and nowhere to hide in the entire United States of America. And that you change the direction that you have a care to what anybody says or thinks. But that you put the house into order by what is right and true. As we always have as Americans. Stand up and fight for your freedom. The Lord be with you. And in this month of July that we celebrate our freedom and independence. We ask the blessing of Almighty God to Jason Aldean. May the Lord 
bless and protect and even prosper that man. And may his blessing be to our country and to the hearts of women and men to rise up anew in patriotism and in right to defend what is ours. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adios. Bye.